the Rocky movies are a lot about um, hope and about those achieving those dreams which seem unreal. And like obviously, I I wasn't an actor before, and if you would have if if you would have talked to me before that movie, like asking me like. Could you imagine to be in Hollywood? It would be like an unreal thing. Not impossible, but it seems so far away. And you know, like, uh, it actually happens now. So I think uh, I really can connect myself to to the Rocky franchise. And his, I mean, he when he started the movie in the first one, he was like an average boxer, nothing special. But he took his chance, you know, it's about taking those opportunity and work hard and achieving your goals. Creed 2 has obviously a connection to Rocky 4 because Drago's coming back. But it's a whole different vibe. Like, I, I don't really see another connection to those movies except that Drago is coming back and Rocky is still there. But the vibe is something different. Creed was also different than the Rocky movies. So I think they're following this way to, to make Creed one of their own. We needed like a couple of weeks to, to really get close to each other. But once, you know, we built up that trust, it was just... Uh, just gr great working with him, you know, it made it so much easier and he helped me a lot because he has the experience and I mean, he's, he's really big right now, a, a big hype around his person, which is well deserved and he prepared me a lot for what is coming and he helped me a lot um, with his experience, so I really appreciate uh, to work with him. I think he could he could do easily a career as a boxer, absolutely, absolutely. Not in the maybe not in the heavyweight division, but definitely as a light heavyweight because he's he's a natural athlete. Like he has natural abilities, like very slick, elusive, and fast hands, fast, good footwork. So even though he's not a real boxer, he kind of is because he. He, he's just good in boxing, so um, it made it a lot easier for me than working with someone together that actually has no abilities in boxing. He weighs like 50 pounds less than me, so he moves like, he moves like, yeah, you can't really touch him, so that's why a guy like me, you always have to pressure those fast, smaller guys, you know, trying to lock him up in the corner and then let him taste your power. So, but definitely he had his, his advantages, I had mine, and that's what makes it so interesting in the end of the day. He has to work in two different jobs and still had, has to train all the time. The conditions he, he's living in with his father are not not the best, not the best ones. And the thing, what, I mean, he's fighting for a better life, obviously. But the things that he really wants is like our values like family, love, loyalty, which he never got. Like his, his mother is not there anymore. His father, he has his own problems, you know, from the past. And he's a tough guy, so he's not really showing him the love that he that he needs to to get or to have. And he, yeah, he's not really he doesn't feel that he's really appreciated as a son. And that's the the biggest uh, struggle inside of him. She's super nice. She. Very sweet, uh, very sweet woman, very respectful. It was like with those guys, even like with Dolph or her, it's like super easy to work with. They have no attitude at all. Very 
humbled and down-to-earth person, person, so it was fun, simply fun to work with them. There's so much emotional stuff going on in this movie, on both sides, on Adonis' sides and on mine. And I think people are going to be even twisted who to cheer for. Like, and that's what we wanted to create in the end of the day, that, you know, that people are going to see this last fight and they feel for both of them. And they kind of wanna, want both of them to win. That was the, the the absolute goal, and I think I think we created we created that atmosphere. Sly is like like kind of a mentor. Same for Dolph. So I always um, first of all I like to listen to them because I try to absorb their experience, and I always like to have different point of views, different angles to see to see it the other way around. I think that's the way you grow. So uh, that I mean that there are no no real words to describe what it feels like when like a person like Sly takes you to the side and um, giving you some explanation and some of his experience and uh, I only can say that I appreciated that and I was on it. I was simply on it. Steven is the guy who I would say deserves the most credits on my performance here. Because in the end of the day, I mean Sly found me and kind of presented me to Steven, but it was his final call because he's the director and the end of the day he's the boss and it's also a big deal for him because it's his big first movie right so he gave me the chance and I felt kind of a pressure that under no circumstances I can't let him down because he gave me the the credits and he gave me the yeah just uh, the credits to, to play this role. He thought that I'm the right guy for this role. And I worked with him day and night on my acting. We had multiple uh, acting coaches. We went through every scene before we actually started shooting, taped every scene, tried to improve every day, and tried all different kind of angles, different variations. And he made me better every day. Hey guys, here's today's daily fact. Now for John Wick 2, Keanu Reeves performed 90% of the film's fight scenes himself. Now to prepare for the role, he trained for three months in Judo, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, marksmanship and driving. Oh, not bad. Now remember to click here below to subscribe for more great content or on the side to watch more videos.